All right, so we have a patient with a swollen erythematous ear. No involvement of the lobule. This looks like perichondritis. Do you remember the Prasad et al. staging system? Yeah, it's a useful classification. It helps guide management. Let's go through the stages. Stage 1. Inflammatory stage. Mild erythema and tenderness. No pus or abscess formation. Management. Oral antibiotics, fluoroquinolones like ciprofloxacin due to pseudomonas coverage, NSAIDs for pain. Stage 2. Early abscess formation. Increased swelling, warmth, and fluctuance. Management. Incision and drainage, IND. If abscess present, culture and sensitivity guided for antibiotics, ciprofloxacin or piperacillin-tazobactam. Stage 3. Advanced cartilage necrosis. Severe deformity, necrosis, and potential auricular collapse. Management. Aggressive debridement for antibiotics, reconstructive surgery if needed. Right? And the key pathogen? Pseudomonas aeruginosa is the most common, so we target it with fluoroquinolones. But if there's severe infection, we broaden the spectrum. Good call. Also, prevention is key. Avoid ear trauma, especially post-piercing. Early treatment prevents complications like cauliflower ear. Exactly. Catch it early. Treat it aggressively. Thanks for the quick refresher.